And John Blackstone joins us now from just outside of the site. So, John, in your piece, we heard uh, Michio Kaku say that the reservation is, quote, a series of disasters waiting to happen. What are some of the problems that this site faces? Well, for years, this site produced most of the plutonium for America's nuclear weapons, and it's left it littered with hazardous nuclear waste. And much of that waste is stored in, in what were meant to be temporary containers. Now, there's some 53 million gallons of waste stored in single and double walled containers here that uh, those containers have been found to be leaking over the years. Groundwater has been contaminated, and this site is uh, on the banks of the Columbia River. So that's uh, that's a huge worry. John, have you learned anything specific about how crews will work to fix this damage tunnel? Their hope is to find a way to seal seal off the tunnel, to seal it so that uh, nothing can, can contaminate, to make a barrier between basically the contaminated material and the air. Uh, and at this time, to keep people safe for now, um, uh, workers are being kept away from this site. The big concern is that this hole doesn't get any larger. So they're trying to do this work without making the hole any larger. It looks like it's sort of in a remote area, but it's kind of hard for us to tell based on the handful of pictures that we see. But what about people in the area? How are they being protected? Well, it is a huge area. This uh, uh, nuclear reservation covers more than 500 square miles. And so the population centers are, are some distance from the contamination. So actually what protects people most here is distance. Now, if particles are released, if there is a release of particles into the air and there happens to be a strong wind, that could, that could be dangerous for the population. But right now, there's been no evidence that uh, radioactive particles have been released. Uh, the Department of Energy says uh, there's no immediate danger. All right, John Blackstone for us in Richland, Washington. John, thank you very much.